everybody, this one on the map is where the Dead Eye Mod is located in a clothing store. It's right in there. It's like the northeast corner. Now, when you're there getting it, you're going to find out it's very expensive. I'm going to show you as the video goes along how good it is. It's going to show you it's almost over 200,000 eddies, I believe. So that's a lot of eddies for one mod. So what I'm going to have to do since the, the update, the patch today on January 23rd, 2021, has fixed the game, my glitch in the Wraith camp over where you did Riders on the Storm, they no longer res respawn when you kill them. So that killed that. So I got to go get Coke cans. Now, Coke cans are annoying as heck. And look right there, Nicola sign right next to her. So I'm going to show you guys, once you get your cans and you're going to have to disassemble them, you can sell the components. Now, versus going to a dealer or a weapons dealer or a store, or et cetera, just go to a drop station and sell your components there because they usually carry 20,000 eddies. Now, right here, just south of east of Building 12, that is where you go. Two blocks to the right is a Coca-Cola heaven, Nicola heaven. It's full of soda cans. Now, what well, my intention here is to go and raid all these machines. If you run out of them, wait three days, go to another point, do something, then come back, and they will respawn or resupply Coke. So you have never-ending Coke soda cans. That's your cash. That's instead of eating up the game. Because I want that mod before I eat up the game. Because I still have to meet Hanako at Eddie's. So I'm getting towards the end of the game. Now in this game, I want to play the secret ending. To do that, I gotta fight top tier gonks, top tier enemies. Now here's Regina, she's gonna call me and tell me to get the last cyber psycho. Cyber psycho so I'm gonna get a few of these, the rack them up, dismantle them, then I'm gonna go get the psycho. By the way, the reward for that is just cast. Regina just gives you cast. There's no prize or weapon or nothing. Now here I'm using Johnny's gun, but also when you play Johnny and play the samurai band, the last gig, you would be wearing his clothes, so be careful of that. So what I'm gonna do here, not even looking at what I, my inventory lately, playing as Johnny, I ran out of bullets. So I'm gonna have to hook up my katana sword and I'm gonna finish that psycho with it. Now I got Oda's sword, but my best sword at the time was one from the Cyber Psycho. I have that video posted. So anyway, I'm going to take her down with this. And the Satori is not the most powerful sword in the game. It depends as you go along. Right now my strongest katana, katana is a red katana, and it's up there. I'll be playing against the last... Uh, secret ending using it so I'll, I'll have a display on that and how good it is it's in the like 2000 range so it's even better than this sword here so anyway I'm gonna take her down finish her up get the last cyber cyberpunk now I'm gonna go and going to buy see I bought it I bought the dead eye went back and bought it I had the eddies now the Predator, I didn't have the eddies to buy. I'm gonna have the eddies, I'm gonna buy the eddies. Here, I don't know what happened. Looks like I, I looks like I bought the, the, the dead eye, but notice my eddies have dropped down. But I got the dead eye, but I did not get the predator. That's almost another 200,000 eddies, and that's a lot of Coke cans. So I said, good, I'm good with this, because every mod you put in to replace an armadillo, your armor drops. So I'm going to drop from 2100 armor, armor down to 1910. 2110 to 1910. I'm going to drop 200 points by loading the dead eye. Now, here's why I want it. It increases your critical chance 15%. Your critical hit, it increases it by 30%. Now, when I take on these top-tier enemy at the very last part, I'm going to be alone. Me and Johnny, well, it's just me alone. So I know it's going to be a hard part. It's do or die. So I'm going to give it everything I got. I'm having my weapons maxed out. I'm going to craft everything legendary. And now I'm going to load up the Deadeye. I'm going to put it in my boots. You can put it in any, any of your clothing. Notice my boots are 546 with three armadillos. So I'm going to take out an armadillo. And I'm going to put in the Deadeye. Notice I'm wearing Johnny's clothing. 
Yeah, and it scraps the it scraps the armadillo. No problem. There it is. It's in my boots. So now I have the dead eye. I have an extra thirty percent critical critical chance of a hit. So I'm going to really be whacking these guys when I shoot them. So that's it, guys. That's my opinion. That's why I think it's the best mod in the game when you're ready to finish it and you have the hardest gonks to play against. So I could get the Predator, but I will lose more armor. See you guys next video.